asked me to help her make some stickers, so I thought I'd share with you how to do it too. She designed several different things in Canva that she wants to make into stickers. So I have taken her designs and I'm gonna upload them. So you always want to have it being a complex design and she wants it to be in the circle. So all I have to do is click right here and this um, background eraser tool it's gonna delete that for me. And this is available to anyone. You do not have to have Cricut access. You can see I want it to be a print and cut image and upload it. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the rest of her files. Let's see how this one works. Yep, that's not gonna work because it has um, the background it's just not going to work. So let's go back. We're just going to upload this one as square and I will show you how to fix that. So print then cut and upload. Let's add that one to the canvas. And now what I want to do is make a shape, a circle. And this is Oops, control Z, much too large, so I can make it smaller. And it doesn't really matter right now. Let's grab that circle and make it a bit bigger. And I am gonna turn it into a guide for a moment here. You can um, hopefully kind of see the pink circle there, that's our guide. And I want to probably get it almost exactly the right size. And I can highlight both of them and click center to align. So I don't, if I don't want to have any white on the edge, I got to make sure that circles in there. So I think that looks pretty good. Okay. And see, I have them both aligned. So all I need to do is hit slice. And you can see here, we have that edge, pull it out a little bit, which is the part we don't want. So I'm just gonna delete that. And we have this in a circle now, and also the guide still, which I'm gonna delete because we don't need it. So there we go, now we have this in a circle. And let's grab this one too, which was already in the circle. And I'm gonna resize that. Let's go two inches. And now what I do, um, she has several other images which I would upload. But then I would resize it in several different sizes and just kind of test. I find that even if you measure things like this smaller sticker, um, you can't really tell like if it's gonna be on the calendar or on a shirt. Um, it's always good to just print it out on a piece of copy paper first and make sure you like the size before you do a whole sheet of stickers and waste your nice sticker paper. So if I would decide, okay, let's do that one at two inches, you can duplicate it. Now maybe I'm gonna make this one, say one and a half inches, once more, maybe one inch and so on. So maybe a we'll graduate one, maybe that should be three inches. Uh, maybe it should be three and a half. I'll just try a few different things. Okay, so when I'm satisfied with that, we'll just go make it. And this is just our test, so here we go. Continue. Now Cricut works with whatever printer you have set up. So I'm gonna send it to the printer I have up here. So since we don't want to have any white borders on it, we're just, just printing out the stickers, then I want to add the bleed. Um, and since I'm just doing a test, I will not use the system dialog. I would just print it and then follow the instructions to do the print and cut. If these were the actual stickers, I would want to use the system dialog 
And it does warn you that it might pop up behind the um, design space. So what it does is it pops up behind your screen. So right here, yes. Um, if it was on my sticker paper, I would be feeding it from the rear tray and using the photo glossy paper to get the best quality because I use glossy sticker paper. If you were using regular sticker paper, of course, um, you could just do regular, but you would want to always put the best quality and that prevents usually lines. So that's how you do print and cut stickers. This one's a little bit different because it has the brown spot here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to just erase the outside first. Okay. And we'll do it this way. And then I'm going to show you how to put a white border around it. Let's go ahead and make this a bit smaller. And add a shape. Let's move this to the back. Okay, and so if I wanted it this actual size, but I want these to be cut off here, I'm gonna add one more shape. And we're gonna make this one into a guide so I can kind of see where, oh, actually this will probably work pretty well. I'm gonna use that slice option again. And I want it just covering there probably. I maybe just a tiny bit bigger. So I have that, make sure that brown is in there. And I am gonna change it to a guide so I can see through it. Mm, so I can see I needed to move it down to have that brown. There we go, that looks about right, I think. Get all that brown. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the guide again in this, slice it. Now I can delete all these slice results I don't want. So there's three of them in that guide. So now we are gonna turn this circle white you could turn it green, you could turn it whatever you want, but I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna say we want it to be white here. Okay, and you can highlight both these images. Use the align button to center. And now to make it into a sticker, we want to hit the flatten button. Um, if I did want to change it, for example, I want it to set it, oh, maybe it would look better green. Let's go to unflatten change the circle into green. And you can also go to the advanced tab if you don't like that green, if you wanna get really specific on your shade of green, you can just slide that around until you're happy. And again, I'm gonna click and hold to highlight both of them, flatten, and now it is ready to print then cut that as one image. Now, if you want to print a bunch of stickers, for example, for a calendar, and we're making them really small, what I like to do, let's make that one inch, is arrange them and attach them so I can have a row of the same stickers instead of letting design space decide what my row looks like. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is hold down the, the Alt key and then just drag and select both of them again Alt drag. You could also highlight and hit the duplicate button here. And drag. And let's see, it needs to be, or it has to be smaller, it won't all fit there. So let's delete this one. Let's see, it has to be, let's see if that's gonna work. So I align the tops and then you distribute them horizontally so there's even spacing. I'm gonna attach it. Okay, yep, that'll work. And if I want another row of stickers like that, again, hold down the Alt button and attach. And I don't worry so much about the individual rows. Um, and 
let's do it one more time. Okay, and so all these attached ones will cut out just in one row, which I like. Okay, and you can see, oh, it's up and down this way. So if I wanted to make my stickers go across this way, I should probably either make them a little bit smaller or remove one of the stickers. Okay, so we have my line of stickers attached and then a bunch of loose ones here. And I'll show you what happens here. So when we click make it, you can see we have space for a couple extra, which is absolutely fine. So I might go back uh, and then just go ahead and duplicate these two extra ones. When I click the make it one again, let's see if it works. Oh, now I put it on there. And let's see. Sometimes you can arrange things just a little bit so there is room. So for example, now I'm sure those two will fit in there. So I'm going to move it to the first page. Absolutely. And for some reason, I just like to space things out a little bit more. And there we go. Now all of them will fit on this page. Even space those and those a little bit. Now it's ready to make.